In my journey across Cebu, this resort left me with one of the most memorable experiences because of the activities, the diverse food, and the attention to detail. So let's review Costa Bella Resort. Located in Lapu-Lapu in the island of Mactan, this is 30 minutes away from the airport which makes this a really convenient vacation destination for anyone who needs a quick getaway. Cebu is arguably the most popular tourist destination in the Philippines and this island is one of the most significant landmarks in our history for the Battle of Mactan. Hundreds of years later, this place is now a hub for many world-class resorts and one of them is Costa Bella Resort. We are currently in one of the best resorts here in Mactan, Cebu. But how good exactly is this resort? Costa Bella is a simple and beautifully designed Filipino Spanish resort that has been here for 37 years. What's your favorite part of the resort so far? I really like the pool um, because I have a six-year-old and she obviously can't swim, so I do like the pool. And then the food is really great, and then I know the massages are great, so I'm looking forward to that today. Yeah, I, I, this is the best massage I've had. What's your favorite part of the resort? Uh, I like beets. The beets? Yes. Offer uh, and food. Cool in the food. So this place really has that modern but classic style and people really seem to love it here. Noon pa, hanggang ngayon, nadito ako. Lagi ako nagbalik-balik dito. Ilang beses na ulit kayo dito, sabi nyo? Anim. Anim na. Anim. Now, before I give you a tour of the snug and rustic rooms, here are some additional amenities that I really look for when I stay in a resort. First one is a gym because I want to stay fit and healthy even while I'm traveling, especially when I want to indulge in a lot of good food that I will be showing you guys later. Of course, a nice spa to have that well-deserved massage after working out. Here I was accompanied by a very special stranger. The massage here was really amazing and and it might just be the best massage that I have ever experienced. Like for real. But out of ten, how would you rate the massage? It was good. Super good. I fell asleep. <laughs> you can also borrow a bike here, which is a fun addition to the experience. And while exploring the surroundings, I noticed that there are a lot of antiques and historical pieces that really creates that classic and old fashion vibe. And finally, a cute little gift shop for your pasalubong. Now the room that I stayed here in has a huge space with two beds and a balcony overlooking the sea. Just the perfect accommodation for families or couples. Unfortunately, I came here by myself, but I did enjoy the extra space, the fast internet, and a super attentive service from the housekeepers. I also got to see the other rooms they have. This one has this really huge bed, bigger than a king-sized bed. This one has a lot more antiques, which really gives this an old Spanish-style look, with a spacious bathroom and a relaxing bathtub. Now, my absolute favorite part of my stay here was really the activities that I got to try within the resort. But first, let me bring you to a place where I indulged a little bit too much on the restaurant. Personally, I am a big fan of breakfast and every morning, they have this buffet with a wide variety of options. My sweet tooth led me to this very sugary French toast that's really crunchy on the outside and creamy and soft on the inside. There's a lot of dishes here from Filipino food to breakfast essentials and even sushi. Yes, they have sushi in the breakfast buffet which is rare and they even have an unlimited supply of sikwate. It's a native hot chocolate here in Cebu. And of course, the lunch and dinner specials here are also very top-notch. Ah, uh, nandito sa sa main restaurant mo sa La Marina is international. Mayroong Filipino, Japanese, uh, European, at uh, Chinese mix. Every single dish they served me here is a work of art and I really enjoyed picking out 
while listening to the live music by these talented musicians. And at night, make sure to visit Luna. Here, they serve high-quality Spanish food, so make sure to try my personal favorites, the paella de cabrito. The drinks here are also top quality. They told me that the bartenders here even compete locally. My usual go-to is the old-fashioned, but here I just had to try their specialty drink, the La Luna. This is also a perfect spot to socialize and end your day with. You can also stay here and book tours, going to places like Oslob, Kawasan Falls, Moal Bual, but within the resort, you can already have an amazing adventure. So first, I did the helmet diving which was pretty fun. They guided me and they showed me a few cool spots to take photos and videos. To me, honestly, it was okay. But I think this one is perfect for people who do not know how to scuba dive or to free dive. But after that, we also got to experience parasailing. And I have to admit that was a little bit scary for me because I'm not a big fan of heights. But it was a great experience once you get to the peak, you'll be able to enjoy a stunning view of Mactan. And finally, you don't have to go four hours all the way to Moal Boal for the sardines because they have a lot of sardines here as well, which really surprised me. I actually came at the wrong time because it was raining a lot. So it's raining really hard right now. So make sure to come here during the summertime to really make the most out of this place. Now, how much does it cost to stay here in Costa Bella? With the great location, friendly staff, and great service, plus the fun things that I got to experience around the resort. The rates here start at around five to 6,000 pesos per night, which was really surprising for me because that's a great price for a resort like this. Make sure to check out the links that I will provide so that you can have discounts whenever you book. So what do you think of this place? Do you think you will be visiting here anytime soon? If you're going to the southern part of Cebu, we also have four resorts here that we featured. But if you're going to the northern part of Cebu, we also have four more to show you. If you like this video, join me as we travel the Philippines with purpose.